Well, there are calls for congressional oversight from both sides of the aisle now. Joining me right now is Pennsylvania Congressman and member of the House Foreign Affairs Committee and House Judiciary Committee, Guy Reschenthaler. And, Congressman, it's good to see you this morning. Uh, what are morning, your committees doing about this? Well, let me just say that if, if this is true, we need to get to the bottom of it and hold Russia accountable. But, Maria, anybody that knows anything about geopolitics in the region knows this is probably not accurate. The Russians are not friends of the Taliban. They fought for years in Afghanistan. Also, Russia is not exactly flush with cash right now since petroleum has, has hit really low uh, numbers. So I find it very suspect. It's also incredibly politically convenient. And, Maria, I've read this book before. I think I know how it ends. It's some low-level, unelected bureaucrat that is not um, that thinks he or she is onto something. The information is not credible, and instead of working through the chain of command, that low-level bureaucrat then runs to the New York Times or the Washington Post, and the mainstream media, the liberal media, takes it up to damage the administration. So I, I'd be willing to bet that that scenario is much more likely than the scenario that the mainstream media is running with, which again is just the damage of the president. Unbelievable. You know, this is really getting old, Congressman. I mean, this president's entire term has been dominated by investigations, so much so that many of you and your colleagues, I'm not, not blaming you specifically, but uh, the Congress has ignored so many important things like China eating our lunch uh, and the national security issues. I mean, there are show hearings, basically, uh, in some of these committees. House Judiciary Committee Chairman Jerry Nadler reportedly planning to subpoena Attorney General William Barr Thursday following the ouster of the U.S. Attorney for the Southern District of New York. I spoke with committee member your colleague Doug Collins on Sunday Morning Futures, and Collins took Democrats to task for these kinds of hearings over the past several years. Watch this. You've had no hearings on national security and China, and China has been eating our lunch, stealing intellectual property regularly for decades, and it has only picked up speed in the last two years. What have you been focused your time on, Congressman? How many hearings have you had on investigating Trump? Oh, more than I can count. I mean, the, the thing about it is, is Chairman Nadler is, seemed obsessed from day one with just simply going after his, his old uh, countermate, uh, Don Donald Trump, who at the time when he knew him in New York and now is president, it was like, all I want to do is get at uh, President Trump. We've done nothing but have hearings. Remember, Maria, let's go back take each other back in time. We started off with the acting Attorney General Whitaker. He thought that was one of the most important hearings we could have had to start last year. And then it rolled into the Mueller report. It rolled into Barr being asked to come in, and then he blew up that. And then, you know, Steve Cohen and others, you know, making fun, bringing fried chicken to hearings. This is what we've been doing in the Judiciary Committee. We've been having show hearing after show hearing after show hearing and really for the most part not concentrate on anything that actually could help the American people. So, so Congressman, what about that? If the Attorney General, William Barr, is subpoenaed, is this going to be another show? Is this going to be another waste of our time? And I ask you the same question that I asked your colleague Doug Collins. How many hearings have you had on national security and on China? versus the number of hearings you've had on investigating Donald Trump. The American people deserves to know what you and your colleagues are spending your time doing. Maria, you're, you're incredibly accurate. You know, this is going to be another show trial. And let's just look at it. A.G. Barr had every right, and so did the president, to fire that U.S. attorney, because every U.S. attorney serves at the pleasure of the president and, by extension, the A.G., so there's no there there. The Democrats are simply trying to discredit Attorney General Barr before the Durham report is released. And, uh, and I think that's going to be very telling on what the Obama administration was doing, spying on the Trump campaign team. But you brought up an excellent point about China. We've been asleep for way too long, and China has exploited the situation. They're stealing our intellectual property. They're engaged in corporate espionage, everything from military to pharmaceuticals to quantum mechanics, you name it. These forced IP transfers back to mainland China. And they're, they're also engaging in dumping of natural resources and even stealing aluminum, you name it, into U.S. markets to take our market share. No one has held China accountable. Democrats are not taking them seriously. At least House Republicans have the China task force, which is taking a look at this. But the Democrats are wasting their time with show, with show hearings instead of actually helping the American people. 
Well, this is outrageous in my view, okay? Philip Wegman, this is the future of our children and our grandchildren. And China and the Communist Party is trying to steal it. And nobody in Congress is focused on this because every other day we're hearing more investigations into Donald Trump. First, it was the Russia nonsense that he was colluding. That was a three-year circus. Then it was the Ukraine uh, telephone call and an impeachment trial. When are they going to get to work and do what is important for the American people and, 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 and stop the theft of intellectual property and our grandkids and our kids' future? Well, Marie, it's not everyone in Congress. Well, there's, there's 15 House Republicans on the China task force that okay. are looking on how to combat it. It's unfortunate that the Democrats, one, have not joined into that task force, even though Leader McCarthy invited them numerous times. And two, they're wasting all yeah. this time appeasing their far left radical base. Go ahead, Philip Wegman. Final word here. Uh, Representative, uh, you hinted on this a second ago. I think it's interesting that uh, House Democrats are reversing where they were a second ago. Now they want to hear from the attorney general ahead of this report coming from Durham. It's going to be very interesting. And this is, seems like just one more uh, issue that is taking precedence over you know, much more uh, important things like, like China eating the nation's lunch. Philip, you're exactly correct. And they are trying to get out ahead of the Durham report because I believe that Durham investigation is going to show that the Obama administration and then Vice President Biden knew what was going on. And you had James Comey and what I call his merry band of never Trumpers ignoring all the uh, uh, procedure and precedent and actively spying on a presidential campaign. And if they can do that to President Trump, they can do it to anybody, but they're trying to discredit Barr. And again, they're not doing anything to actually advance this country. They're not holding China accountable. They're not coming up with actual legislative solutions to problems that we face today. Yeah. Again, they're continuing to appease that far left radical base. Unbelievable. And, and just to be clear, not one Democrat has actually said it's wrong to have unlawful wiretaps on an American citizen. It's wrong to change a document and, and, and doctor up actual evidence, which is what the FBI did. Uh, and, and, and it's wrong to have informants running into people and entrap them. All of this stuff we know was unlawful already. Not a word from your colleagues on the left. Congressman, thank you. We'll keep watching, obviously. Congressman Guy Reschenthaler, we'll be right back.